here in New York City, but also up in the Mid Hudson Valley. Someone who is willing to travel for these games and tear it up no matter where he goes. But where, whereas we just saw the Mega Man matchup, now we've got Hero and with bounce potentially on the table, this one's a whole different ball game. These are some. Uh, so, what? Oh no! Oh my! Okay. Yeah, that no was crit. seventy-five. Yeah. He it's... just took seventy-five <laughs> on one hit. And the fact that that there was a chance that that could have killed, too. <laughs> oh, on PS2 at center stage. Sometimes this character just makes me question everything. This character's hilarious. Just like oh, I'm speaking there of. There it is. There it is. Oh, I was gonna say just like uh, I I am questioning how quite how Mishka found his way into two snoozes, but really the answer is just impeccable timing on the frame trap to punish preemptive options from Su from Mishka, and it allowed Susana was able to find just the extra time he needed to make Mishka in get put into a little bit of a frame trap situation. gonna have to cover me, I'm uploading the VOD. <laughs> Devin, get it, uploading the VOD right as Mishka gets downloaded right into the bottom blast zone, unfortunately just coming up a little short, able to find these charge shots, but a fireball gonna meet him in turn. Both players just looking for the stage control, trying to find that significant hit, but when you're glowing red, it's oh so scary. Mishka waiting it out, and with that screw attack, he's gonna be able to find this advantage state, get the juggle, and the corner situation, but Zoom is the penultimate get out of jail free card right there is nowhere to run away from that move you're never coming up short of the ledge edge it will get you out of j dodge 10 times out of 10 with no mana on deck Susano is trying to find a way to keep Samus out but Mishka's having none of it finds a grab with that tether locks it up but immediately eats seven for the for his troubles well I appreciate Mishka with another Almost getting, you know, Susano looking for the snooze once again, but Mishka that time ready for it. It with the patience, almost getting called out by the bounce though. Oh, and now with a bounce and a whole bunch of stack buffs, one oh back air gonna break the shield and uh, no, you don't get to play the game today, Devin. I'm sorry. All right, let's go back and see some of that because, like, I have, I just missed all. Yeah, of it. this was this this whole interaction is so silly. Like, oh right, my. just the first, I love that. Just trading that charge shot out, right, knowing that full charge shot, you have a, a bunch of end lag on, and so just saying, yeah, you're not gonna be able to get away. Now oh. this with the full buffs, yeah, just coming up short, or Mishka getting a little too scared, and then here on the last stock situation, this I one. I see how Mishka got his, uh, yeah. just up throw. Yeah. yeah, it's just up throw, and then this one is just really unfortunate. Mishka can't force his way back because of the bounce, and then gets up in shields, and it's just, it, it's just. It was just unfortunate. If Mishka wants to find his way back into the set, Devin, he needs to just stop being quite so respectful of the potential tools Hero has. We saw him giving a lot of space to certain options on the chance they might come up, which allowed Susano the time to actually guarantee that they do. Okay, so Susano's bands were Town and City and Kalos. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I, I guess I can understand the Kalos one. Well... Yeah, sure. Uh, but yeah, leaving a platform stage open like this, where you have that constant roof over your head, definitely like a kind of a static uh, good thing for Samus. But it's not really helping out here right now, because Mishka already down a stock. Yeah, Hero has such good ground airs, and also has great zoning tools, where that center plat you mentioned, right, being good at, to build that little house for Samus, but it's also really, really good for Hero. And once bounce is on, and bounce on being able to come online means that every so often Susano can just ignore that that ceiling exists, just run on in and play as ignorant as he wants. Mishka is doing a better job catching these approaches, but it's still Susano, right, who's able to just call out the preemptive buttons that Mishka's forced to press because Susano's finding these early leads and then not interacting to stock buffs which is forcing Mishka put to push these preemptive zoning tools, and that's when Susano is coming in, really taking, finding his ways to make up for his character's poor frame data, poor movement speed, and find the X factors he needs. Mishka able to even out the stocks, and you know, at 80, now 90%, like not, uh, you know, not an undoable thing, uh, but 
you know. Uh, it's something I wanted to comment on earlier was that Mishka has to kind of better position these four airs, but you know, <laughs> the vacuum of the kaboom literally stopping him from falling below it, sucking him back up, and then boom. Susana timing that grab perfectly with the Accelerado running out. So Mishka respecting a different spacing than Susano opted to go for and kind of just catching him a little off guard. He's a using in Accelerado here, a really interesting, right? Coming into pressure on the CQC and Mishka was able to catch it, but he's willing to do that because he's able to just fade off. So he's using bounce defensively even, or Accelerado defensively, even though it seemed like he wasn't. Oh, gonna get ourselves an edge guard there. He's just slipping and sliming around right now. Susanna, a, a clean 2-0, looking for his way to close this one out. Mishka trying to stay locked and loaded here on winner's side, finding himself in much the same position Pete Bro did just minutes ago. And Devin, he is going deep in the tank on this stage pick. Yeah, so once again, Smashville and Kalos are gone and decided to run it back to Hollow Bastion. Um, I'm not super sure how I feel about this. I mean, I guess it's fine. Like sometimes you just want to be the change you want uh, you want to see in the world. So keep this, uh, keep all the variables the same, and uh, make those adaptations. Um, I I really think that like something that we need to see from Mishka a little bit more is like a little bit of like retreating forward airs, uh, like during uh, like trying to punish uh, Susana when he's coming down, and stuff like that. Uh, I think these forward airs have been like a little bit too aggressive and ends up going a little bit past the mark and kind of ends up just like reverses the advantageous p uh, positioning that Mishka is like working towards. Uh, and then, yeah. Susana though has done a really good job only approaching right when he has a buff or multiple buffs online, whether it's Bounce, Accelerado, Oomph, or Psych Up, it doesn't matter. Otherwise, Susano is playing about as non-interactive as he possibly can and to find his way out, wall you with the sword, throw these projectiles, right, throw you with these thunders, and just continue that pressure from a range. It's forcing Mishka to really get uncomfortable approaching unless he get caught by these disjoints, but also from a range, right? Yep. <laughs> We we're, so we're, we're, more we are seeing that like uh, I think Mishka's getting a little bit more comfortable uh, because is is beginning to like kind of do those fade backs. It's not going to be enough to take the first stock, but I I think we've seen a little bit of a preview of like some some adaptation going on here. So if Mishka is able to kind of seal out this stock, we might see that reflect a little bit more. But if Susano is able to build this lead, uh, you know it might be all for naught, a little bit too little, too late, you know. Yeah, and interesting there that Mishka didn't Ooh. opt to go for the up throw in that situation. Here on, on Hollow Bastion, it might have just been all she wrote, but instead, and we're going to see Susano living to almost 200%, right? Hero is not that heavy. No, that's definitely not. Uh, yeah, I mean, like, I think that was just nerves, probably, because... Mm -hmm. I agree. You know, it, it's an FD stage, uh, FD ceiling, and... Uh, so, up throw would have absolutely done it. The grounded movement there from Susano. He's been jumping with these accelerados so much. There, he okay. just opted to run under and find the jab, grab mix, or jab mix up. But Mishka playing it patient, not running into these buttons Ooh. too much anymore. But gets caught out slipping. Not only can you not approach, but you also can't just stay where you are. You have to run away from Hero there. All right. Misha kind of on the back foot once again. Uh, you know, Susana was able to really control that last stock and make sure to build like a really comfy lead. And you know, now Mishka has to kind of approach a little bit more. I don't want to see Mishka like get too aggressive. Like, use all the time you got and like play to your character strengths because sometimes, uh, you know, you can turn the tides without having to be aggressive. Turn the tides for sure, but I mean, he needs to find a hole on Tsunami at this point, yeah. point because it's not just that he's been playing aggressive, right? He's settled in the overaggression he's had, but the way Samus needs to approach this matchup and the way that Hero's game plan is not interact with you unless forced to, 
And force, being forced to can be a positive thing, too. Ooh. It, Samus has to push these buttons, right? Has to throw out more hitboxes, even if they're projectiles, than Hero does. And that really plays into Suzano's game plan immaculately. There, there was a... Uh, the one thing, like... Sometimes you need to just, like, do your positioning uh, to act as the inputs mm -hmm. so you don't have to commit to it. Because, like, we saw a roll range uh, that uh, that could have been a punish to back air, but, you know, ended up being a uh, just committing to charge. I love those uncharged charge shots from Mishka. He throws out the first one un oh. into the second one multiple times, trying to find a roll read there, but just wasn't confident enough to commit to it, even though he was on point. Mishka's parry game, though, is starting to come up. He's caught a couple now. The question is, will it be enough to get him on the board, Devon, or is it going to be too little too late here? So we have Oomph and uh, Reflect up. So right now, so like, a lot of Samus' tools are kind of deactivated because of the Reflect. Oh, my. Yeah, wow. And Just in time to yeah. disappear for Mishka. They do all... And a, but able to land that charge shot before they do, so you get the extra damage that those positive... Those kill buffs from a hero also rack on to you. <gasps> Ooh, and able to trade with the Kamehameha there just a little bit. It Mishka has somehow oh clawed boy. himself right back into this uh, one, Devin, against all odds, but it's that center platform when push comes to shove. Mishka's stayed pick. We said we weren't sure of it. And at the end of the day, when it mattered most, there was that Grim Reaper showing up behind him coming to take its toll. Yeah. So here we can see, uh, you know, Susano's first stock, uh, you know, getting off the top right there, and then had a had a revenge kill, just right here. What was? Yeah, kaboom! It's always kaboom. <laughs> yeah, dude, kaboom just hits you from so far, far away. And the thing is, Mishko could have avoided it, but he needs to not push any aggressive button. He literally his option to get out of and away from that kaboom was run away. And yeah. something I kind of just realized thinking about it, we had Hero, we had Min Min.